Hey guys, Ben from TNVS here. Just going to do a bit of a video today about how to set up the Owl NV N7. Now we have done an unboxing video on this, so have a look on our channel if you want to see everything that it comes with. So before you get set up, there's a few things you're going to want to check out before you um, get your N7. As this is a clip-on that goes onto a scope, you want to make sure that you're getting a scope that has uh, adjust adjustable objective focus, AO focus, or side focus. Um, if you've got any anything that's happening on the optical side of the scope there, because this is a clip-on, you won't be able to access that. So this does have, for the point of the video, a bit of focus on here, um, but we won't be using that, just to show you guys how it all attaches. So, get set up, first thing you want to do, get your unit, whack your battery in, on the front here, so this just unscrews. Please be aware when the batteries come, they do come with a little bit of black tape on there. You do need to take that off to get the unit to work. Once you pop that off, get that in. You'll also, if you're gonna be recording anything, wanna have your SD card in there. On the left hand side, you got a little flap here. Pop that away, that's where your SD card goes. That's also where you can recharge the unit through there. So once you've got that all charged, charge battery in there, SD card in if you need. You're gonna do, you're gonna need your adapter. So each unit comes with one adapter. There are three sizes though. So once again, looking at your scope, you wanna be able to measure on your eyepiece what the outer diameter is. There is three sizes of adapters. The smallest ones goes from 37 to 42 mil, the middle one from 42 mil to 45 mil, and the largest one from 45 to 48 millimeter. Always a good idea, check that out before you purchase so you get the right adapter. You can buy extra adapters separately, so if you want to put them on a few different scopes, that is also an easy option for you. So you want to get your adapter, you'll notice that they come with a few different shims for you, so that's to help make a nice connection onto the scope. To get the adapter on, all you got to do is, to, oh, back to front, <laughs> slide this on, you'll get it into the grooves. Give it a twist and you'll hear an audible click. And then that one, that's all clipped on. So you have it to the bolts to the right hand side there. Before you go to put it on your scope, Pop the scope in quickly, have a bit of a look. On this one, there isn't too much play there. So what I'll do, I'll start with the smallest shim. I always find the easiest way to set them up is to put the shim onto the scope first. If you put the shim into the adapter, it can be tricky and it will push it back. So we'll see how that fits. So we'll see here, that actually looks like a very snug fit. So got that first go. If you need a bit more space, remember you've got the more adapters there. Also, keep in mind that it does come with some tape as well. This is always a good idea just to help give it a bit of, bit of grip to hold on to. So, before you whack the shim in, you want to do, grab your tape. Do one or two laps just around the scope. That should be enough. So once you've got your tape and your adapter on there, and your shim on there, sorry, you want to slide that into the adapter. So once you've got that all snug, best I do, turn the device on. Once that's on, you can play with the focus here. We're going to play with that more later, but this focus is going to allow you to focus in on the crosshairs of the scope. So once you've got that focused in on the crosshairs, just try align the crosshairs straight up and down as you would see them through your scope. This is something you can adjust in a moment, but for now we just want to get it close. Once you've got it close, it comes with an Allen key in the box. So you do the little bolts up here. Always best do the one closest to the N7 eyepiece first and work forward. That's going to get you the best grip on there. Don't move them up overly tight because we are going to, again, want to check that reticle. Uh, 
So you can cross hairs up and down. Confirm they're all good, and then you can do a final little tighten up. That's it. That's the way to have it straight onto the scope. I have put this on upside down on the scope, but it demonstrates exactly the same way we're going to be able to do it for it. So next step, once you've got all that on, is to set the reticle of the N7 onto the crosshairs of the scope. So for this, it's going to help center the image into the middle of the N7 photo. So what we'll do, I'm going to cut to a little video and I'll talk you through that because you can't show you on the screen how the menu works, but I can show you in this video. So once you've got your tape and your adapter Alright guys, it's getting a little bit windy outside so I decided to come in just to go over some of the functions of the buttons for you. Before we get into that, now that you've got your N7 mounted up on the scope, first thing you're going to want to do is actually set the reticle on the N7. So setting the reticle on the N7 lets it line up with the crosshairs which will just center the image for you. So to do that, you want to power your unit on power button's just up the top there, hold it down for a couple of seconds, it'll turn on. Next step, you're going to go into your menu, so that's the right hand button, just give that a single click and you'll see that on the top setting line is reticle center position adjustment. So what you want to do, click into that, once you're on there you'll see there's a little white cross that comes up in the middle of the picture, now you can use your left to right up and down to shift the image until the crosshairs and the reticle of the N7 align with each other. Once that's done, then your image is going to be centered and you're going to be able to get the best results out of the unit. So a bit further on all the buttons that are on here, so we'll go around in clockwise. So at the top, you've got your uh, red dot or your laser, you click that on, you can, you can use that toggle, we'll just turn it back off for you. On the right, as I said, that's the menu. If you do a quick press, if you do a long hold on that, that'll go into your playback, so you'll be able to view any photos or videos that you've taken on the device, as long as you've got the SD card inside. And down the bottom, uh, you can use this to actually use a zoom, if you're not using the zoom on your scope. Um, so if you click that, it'll go through 0.5 adjustments all the way out to three times. On the left here, you got your oh sorry, you also got your Wi-Fi on here. So if you click on the, um click on that, that'll bring up the Wi-Fi setting. Al and V haven't released their app yet for their Wi-Fi, um, but there is some third-party apps you can use. So Roadcam is one of those. Um, I'll pop a link to that in the description so you can check that out if you want to be able to stream the image that you're seeing on the N7 uh, to a device. So on the left here, you've got your IR, so this will also change it from day mode into night mode. So in order to go from day mode to night mode, you just hold this down, you'll hear a click, and it'll either change from color, which is day mode, into black and white, which is your night mode, or vice versa. When you are in night mode, in the black and white, you can use this same button, if you do single clicks of it, it'll go through the illuminator power. So each illuminator has three power settings, um, so it will just scroll through that. If you double click on this, that's how you change the settings from using either the 850 or the 940 or using both of them together. Uh, last but not least, it's your middle button. So this is just gonna do any photos or video recording for you. Really simple, just click it once to do a video or hold it down and click it once to do a photo or if you hold it down that's going to do a video for you. That pretty much covers all the buttons on here. Um, you'll see in a moment we'll head out tonight and show you how the IRs differ to each other and going through the power settings and how that affects the picture but you'll see on there that I do change the focus of the IR so it does look like they should twist but they actually just pull in and out. So really quick and simple to make any adjustments on the fly. Just give them a pull or a push and they come in and out. Really simple way to adjust that beam. 
I'll we'll wait for the sun to go down and then I'll put this back on the scope and we'll go have a look at a few animals out in the paddock. Nine forty one, nine forty two, nine forty three, off, nine forty one, eight fifty, nine forty, eight fifty. Eight fifty one, eight fifty two, eight fifty three, nine forty three, eight fifty, nine forty three. Double one, double two, double three, eight fifty wide, nine forty spot, nine forty wide all right guys i hope that video uh was able to help you see what the ir illuminators are all about on this n7 and the different use cases of having an 850 940 or being able to use them both together uh, as you would have seen there by changing the focus of the illuminators you can get a really nice image of having a broad broad illumination but also a nice pinpoint in the middle so that's always my favorite having an 850 on the flood and the 940 on the spot um, thanks for watching and if you're ever interested in any more thermal night vision gear we try to do a video every week or so uh, so it's to keep you guys up to date so don't forget to subscribe and like thanks for watching